So for sensory examination of the lower limb is similar to the upper limb in the sense that we're doing sensation for light touch, pain, vibration, and proprioception. But for the lower limbs, the dermatomes are different and you need to know that. So here's another picture. As you can see, the lower limbs starts from L1 to S1. L1 covers the inguinal region, L2 covers the upper thigh, while L3 covers the lower thigh and over the region of the knees. L4 covers the medial aspect of the leg. L5 covers the lateral aspect of the leg along with the big toe. And then S1 covers the little toe. The first part of our sensory exam again begins with light touch. So Sam, I'm going to place this. Can you feel this? I'm going to place it on your legs. And whenever I place it, I want you to tell me yes if you can feel it. Okay, so we start with L1. Yes. 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 So we'll do the same with the pin prick. So we're going to do it all over again using a different sensation. Yes. Can you feel this? Yes. I want you to tell me yes when you feel it. Yes. Yes. L1. Yes. L2. Yes. L3. Yes. Yes. L4. Yes. Yes. L5. Yes. Yes. S1. Yes. Yes. The next step is to check for vibration sense. So, Sam, I'm going to put this on your legs. Can you feel it? Yeah. I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put the same sensation on your feet. I want you to say yes if you feel it and it has stopped if you've stopped feeling it. You keep moving proximally to the proximal joint until you find the joint where the patient starts feeling it. So the last step is to check for joint position or proprioception of the lower limbs. To do that, we demonstrate to the patient. Sir, can you please look at your toe? I'm going to move it up and down. This is up and this is down. Yeah. I want you to lie down, close your eyes, and I'm going to move it. I want you to tell me if it's up or if it's down. Down. Up. Down. Remember to hold it by the sides, not top down. Up. Down. Up. The last step of the proprioception test is to check for the Romberg test. The Romberg test is actually a test for proprioception, not for cerebellar function. So, Sir, can you please stand up? So, how you assess for the Romberg test is you ask the patient to stand up with their feet close together and then you go behind them to support them and then you ask them to close their eyes. Sir, can you please close your eyes? Thank you. So if the Romberg test is abnormal, when you eliminate the visual correction, that is ask the patient to close their eyes, they will lead towards the abnormal side. And remember, the Romberg test is actually a test for proprioception, not for cerebellar function. As in cerebellar disease, whether the patient has their eyes open or closed, they will still be a toxic and unstable. This brings us to the end of our examination. But before we finish, I want you to know the spinal tracts and which sensations they carry. So for the sensory examination, we assessed for light touch, pain, vibration, and proprioception. We were actually ideally supposed to check for temperature, but that's not commonly done. There are two tracts that you need to know, the spinal thalamic tract and the dorsal column medial lemniscus tract. The spinal thalamic tract carries pain and temperature sensation, while the dorsal columns carry proprioception, vibration, and light touch. This brings us to the end of our examination. If you learned anything, please drop me a like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Most importantly, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.